Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the formation of molecular orbital energy level diagram for fluorine molecule. So in the previous lecture, we already learned about the formation of molecular orbital energy level diagram for oxygen molecule. The link of this video is given in the card, kindly watch that video also. If you are following all my videos, you know that we are using simply 7 to 8 simple key point by which you can easily remember the formation of a any molecule so in this video i am going to use a simple eight key point by which we are going to explain the formation of fluorine molecule so i request you to kindly watch this video till the end so let's start with this video point number first that is fluorine molecule or difluorine molecule we know that fluorine molecule is formed by the two fluorine atoms and the each fluorine atom in the ground state contain the nine electrons which are present in 1s 2s and 2p atomic orbitals so here i have shown the electronic configuration of the fluorine atom we know that fluorine atomic number 9 and its electronic configuration will be 1s2 2s2 and 2p5 so this is our point number first now point number second that is the calculation of the total number of the electrons so we know that fluorine molecule is formed by the two fluorine atom and the each fluorine atom contain the nine electron hence the total 18 electrons are in the fluorine molecule so this is our point number second now the point number third that is the construction of molecular orbital energy level diagram the linear combination of 2 1s 2 2s and the 2 2p that is 2px 2py and 2pz atomic orbitals of both fluorine gives the 10 molecular orbitals out of that 10 molecular orbitals the 5 are the bonding molecular orbitals and these are sigma 1s then sigma 2s then sigma 2pz pi 2px and pi 2py while the remaining 5 are the antibonding molecular orbital and these are sigma star 1s sigma star 2s sigma star 2pz then pi star 2px and pi star 2py antibonding molecular orbitals these 10 molecular orbitals are arranged from lower energy level to the higher energy level in the energy level diagram for the fluorine molecule that you can observe in this diagrammatic representation and the total 18 electrons are distributed in these bonding and the anti-bonding molecular orbitals by following above principle Pauli's exclusion principle and Hunt's rule that we are going to see right now the first two electrons will enter into the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital then the next two electron will enter into the sigma star 1s antibonding molecular orbital then the next two electron will enter into the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital then the next two electron will enter into the sigma star 2s antibonding molecular orbital so 4 plus 4 total 8 electrons are distributed right now now the remaining 10 electrons are distributed in such manner then out of the 10 the first two electron will enter into the sigma 2pz bonding molecular orbital then the next four electron will enter into the pi 2px and pi 2py bonding molecular orbital so here the total six electrons are used out of this 10 one so here only four electrons are remain here the last four electron will enter into the sigma star 2px antibonding molecular orbital and sigma star 2py antibonding molecular orbitals so totally 18 electrons are distributed according to their energy level and this leads to the formation of your molecular orbital energy level diagram for fluorine molecule now the next point number four that is the electronic configuration of this molecule so here i have shown the electronic configuration for fluorine molecule and it is kk is a constant then sigma 1s2 then sigma star 1s2 then sigma 2s2 
then sigma star 2 is 2 then sigma 2 p z 2 then pi 2 p x 2 pi 2 p y 2 and sigma star 2 p x 2 and sigma star 2 p y 2 so here i have written this electronic configuration by taking the reference of the point number third so in the point number third we have distributed the total 18 electrons from lower energy level to the higher energy level and i have written this electronic configuration by these simple energy levels of your molecular orbital energy level diagram in which how many electrons are distributed so this is a simple electronic configuration for your fluorine molecule now the point number fifth that is the bond order the bond order is given by the formula 1 by 2 into n b minus n a where n b is total number of a electrons in the bonding molecular orbital and n a is the total number of electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital so for fluorine molecule the value of a n b is equals to 10 and the value of a n a will be equals to 8 again you can take the reference of the point number third to calculate the total number of a electrons in the bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital now simply by putting this value into the formula that is bond order will be equals to 1 by 2 into 10 minus 8 therefore bond order will be equals to 1 by 2 into 2 that means bond order will be equals to 1 that is plus 1 so here the two fluorine atoms attach with each other by the single bond the fluorine molecule now point number six that is the stability of molecule so here we know that the stability of the molecule depends upon the two important factor that is the total number of a bonding electron and the total number of a anti-bonding electron so total number of a bonding electron must be greater than the total number of anti-bonding electron then the molecule will be stable and second factor is your bond length so bond length must be the positive value so here for the fluorine molecule we know that the total number of a bonding electron is greater than the total number of anti bonding electron we know that total number of a bonding electron is a 10 here and total number of anti bonding electron is a 8 therefore nb is greater than the na and again we have calculated the bond order and that bond order having a positive value hence the fluorine molecule will be the stable molecule the next point point number seven that is the number of bond bond length and bond dissociation energy so here the number of bond will be equals to one that we have calculated from the bond order bond length is 142 picometer and the bond dissociation energy 156.9 kilojoule per mole now the last point number eight that is the magnetic property so here you can observe that in the point number third the all electrons in the bonding and the anti bonding molecular orbitals are the paired electron hence the fluorine molecule is diamagnetic in nature so these are the simple eight point by which you can easily explain the formation of fluorine molecule hope you will like this video Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video.